Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Heather and today we are going to be talking about the philodendron Florida Beauty and how I've been successful at propagating my plants. And um, yeah, if you like videos like this, please hit the subscribe button, like and comment down below and uh, I guess we'll get right into it. This plant needs no introduction and you know what? I get it now. I get why it's a highly sought after plant and that's just because of its variegation. Now, the philodendron Florida Beauty is considered to be a very stable variegated plant. However, it can give you an all green leaf like this or it can give you an all variegated leaf like this. In comparison to the Monstera Elbow, I guess what I can actually say about it is that these guys are guaranteed to give you some sort of variegation. Sometimes it could be a little bit more green and sometimes it could be a little bit more white, but in comparison to the Monstera Elbow, you don't really have anything to go off of that other than its stem. So when you're buying a Monstera Elbow, you're looking at the stem to see how much variegation it actually has. So if there's more white, chances are you're gonna end up with a more white leaf. And if it's more green, you're gonna have more green leaves. But with a philodendron Florida Beauty, it doesn't really matter. You don't really have to look at the stem. You're just guaranteed to have variegation. However, that is based off of its genetics. So if its genetics is kind of not so good, like it's already giving you lots of green, then it's gonna continue to give you lots of green. So with that said, this beautiful variegated leaf actually was a cutting from this plant over here. Look at how green this is. This is ridiculous. I actually got this plant last year from Thailand and I was really sad and very upset because one, I've never seen leaves that look like this before and I suppose that's just because it's a very mature plant. Two, the variegation was very little. So I was really, really upset. So what I ended up doing with this plant was I shoved it in um, soil. Because <laughs> believe it or not, when this arrived to me in November, oh wow, it's actually been almost a year. So when this arrived to me in November, I was 100% annoyed so I shoved it in soil and it didn't do anything for me for like an entire four or five months and it wasn't until springtime that was when it actually started to give me leaves like new leaves <laughs> new variegated leaves so the first leaf it gave me was um, just as big as this one but it was more green and this was actually the second leaf that came out of there so once I received this leaf, I was like, okay, time to cut. Let's see what happens. And honestly, I just wanted to have a really pretty plant. So I figured the best way to do it is to just cut it. So I guess that kind of segues me into how I actually cut my plant. So what I actually did with this mother plant was I looked for the node. I think you can see it here. There's a white dot right over here and that's actually an activated node because I had already cut it. What I did with this plant was I looked for the node and obviously it had like you know another stem and another leaf. So I looked for the node, I air layered it and then I waited until it started to give me enough roots and that's when I took a cutting above the node. <laughs> which is how you end up with this activated node over here and that activated node is going to give you an offspring and give you uh, a new plant eventually so let's backtrack it gave me two leaves i air layered and then i cut and when i cut i put them in my tried and true mixture of alika and moss and as you can see Look at these fuzzy roots, it's doing so well. And then, then it graduates into ponds. 
and it's doing pretty well in pods. It's happy. It's not it's giving me crazy aerial roots. So that's where we're at with that. Now this plant came off of the mother plant. So this is actually from the activated node. And the leaves are a little bit smaller, but that's okay. And I have noticed that the new leaves from like a cutting or a stressed out plant from either like transplanting it and repotting, I actually find that they give me more green leaves. And I guess that makes the most sense. I suppose when the plant is stressed out and it doesn't have enough uh, chlorophyll or energy, it's gonna give a green leaf and then the next leaf is going to be um, variegated. At least that's what's been going on for me. So like I said, when I took a cutting from here, the new leaf that came out of it was this green one and then the newest leaf from there was this one. And I have noticed that variegated leaves grow a little bit slower and take longer to harden off. But I mean, when it does, it looks like this, so. And I think that's all I have to say about how to propagate. <laughs> um, I guess I can show you how to propagate this plant. This one in particular, you don't really have to look for the node so much because the internodes are very far apart. Now comparing this to this plant over here, the internode is much shorter. So this plant actually dropped a couple of leaves for me already and that's because uh, it was root bound and I was just too lazy to, <laughs> to give it a bigger pot. Um, don't be like me. If it starts to give you lots of roots, uh, just, just repot it. <laughs> Check on it and repot it, otherwise its leaves are gonna drop. But in any case, this plant actually had uh, very short internodes and I was so stressed out I couldn't even cut it. So it's finally doing its thing. I moved it further away from the light and it's stretching a little bit. So now I can cut that once it gives me two more leaves. So we're gonna work with this guy right here. Um, you can see the aerial roots are looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just air layer and then check in on this in about, I don't know, a month and show you the cutting. We <laughs> have some moss, um, it's all fluffed up and I did give it a little bit of HB 101. You guys know I love this stuff. So I soaked the moss with diluted HB 101 into here and uh, I guess off we go. Nothing too fancy or crazy with this. It's just saran wrap and moss. And I think by the time this gives me another leaf, the, um, the roots on this guy will be long enough for me to give it a little bit of a trim. And then whoever is lucky enough to have this plant will have an activated node down over here. I don't think you can see because of the glare, but you can see a white speck. That's the node. And eventually it's going to be swollen and it's gonna swell up and it's gonna look like the mother plant. And yeah, that's how I propagate my plants. And I guess that's all for today. <laughs> so if you like videos like this and if you learned something new, please hit the subscribe button and drop a comment down below so that I know that you like videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.